In Singapore, we love being smart. As a matter of fact, our kids top the world rankings in math and science every year. So it's no wonder we want our homes to be smart too. Today, we're gonna join a couple who are looking for their very own smart home. Hi, my name is Lily, and uh, this is my ex-boyfriend, Akka, current husband. No, I'm just one husband. <laughs> His name is Patrick. Yeah, he's actually a full-time artist. We've been married for about 19 years now. So I'm an artist, right? So what you can see right now, this is my own uh, digital hyperrealism drawing. So basically, I do quite a number of things whereby one is digital hyperrealism, photography, as photography as well. So we got this place 17 years ago. We got married. So at that time, um, you know, the renovation was done 17 years ago. So in terms of like space planning and all that, it was suited for us at that point in time. We actually work a lot more from home, and that means we need separate spaces. So currently, we kind of like have one room, and we're like always knocking against each other when we work, you know, which is gonna be so frustrating, right? Yeah. So we're looking for a space whereby. Actually, we can have separate spaces where we can call our own and not only for work but also to chill out. So our current space, right, the area is pretty big but the way that it was designed, it was not ideal. And also because I would love to put more of the art pieces at home but the whole wall, entire wall is all just full glass. I think one of the things that he always likes, he actually quite like to cook. Yeah, but you know, um, many years ago we were thinking that we we're not cooking so much. So we kind of shifted our kitchen all the way in and the kitchen is really, really tiny now in our house. Yeah, so in our new place, we hope like he always wants like a kitchen the, island, the right? Island, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need to explore between technology and traditional. Smart home is something that is I would love to have, and also uh, love to explore because it just convenience in every area. Patrick, hey. hello. Hey. How are you guys hey. doing? Nice to meet you. So nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Okay, so are you guys familiar with the dog? Uh, not really, but we okay. live around Katong area, okay. so not too far. All right, yeah, not too far. Yeah. We do have two 24-hour marts here, so late night, you grab whatever you want. We also have the MRT, the Padok MRT, which is only seven-minute walk, so that's easy enough. Oh, that's pretty close, seven yes. minutes, yeah. I think you guys are really going to love this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Ready to see it? Yes. yes. Excited? <laughs> it. Okay, here we go. Come on in, guys. Feast your eyes. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, good start, wow. right? So it's 1,500 square feet and it has three bedrooms all linked together. Pretty big space we have here. The owner was an expert at lighting, so he was lighting hotels. So this is a very, very smart home. You're really gonna dig that. I know that's what you guys want, right? First thing, I really like the, the, the warm light. Yes, I'm big into warm light too. We don't want hospital lighting, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, so that has exactly what you need and it's a nice open foyer and lots of storage. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> don't tell me there's storage though. <laughs> storage. Are you serious? Big storage. Oh, oh wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. So tons of storage. Everybody has things just sitting around their place, but when you have 1,500 square feet and a lot of it used for storage, you guys should be great. That's my thing because I really love hidden <laughs> storage. I oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. It's like tucked away, you yes. can't really tell. Yeah. And then we have a beautiful dining area right here. We do usually have a lot of people come over, so spaces like that where like a lots of gathering spaces is yeah. great. Well, as an artist, I wanted to show you this. We have this uh, feature pillar here, which obviously you can't remove. Mm -hmm. But what they did was they took the old school facade of the HDBs and they threw it up against there, put lighting behind it. No wonder it looks so familiar. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. a bit of nostalgic feeling yeah. in that. Yeah, definitely. Let's take a look at the living room then. Sure. All right, so beautiful living room, lots of space, really nice area to entertain, chill out with your friends. And what's the vibe you guys get here? For me, the first thing is I look at over there, it totally looks like hotel rooms. Yeah, it <laughs> beautiful. looks like Love it. some of the rooms we stayed overseas before, right? Like a really comfortable yeah, couch yeah. right Well, I'll there. tell you what, the designer of the place would be very excited that you said that <laughs> because she was going for a Pranakan boutique hotel kind of vibe. Ah. And this whole area right there used to be a balcony. And so it's all indoor now, which gives you so much more space. You can use it as a little reading nook or watching TV. Yeah, it's just nice to read a book beside a window. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then we have a nice uh, floating console here for the TV. Very but this good. is great. This is actually the... Is it a poster or TV? It's this a TV, is a TV right? yeah. and it has one of those frames to look like. I mean, the you're arts. an artist. I wouldn't recommend painting on that. It's uh, <laughs> not a canvas. <laughs> but you can put his painting in it. Uh. <laughs> That's it. All right, very good. You guys want to check out the rest of the place? Yes. All right, come on. Beautiful.
Okay, so here is the kitchen slash dining slash whatever you want. This, wow. this place oh, wow. is so cool. I can't wait to tell you about it. So this was a room before and then they decided to turn it into a dry kitchen. This is obviously just kind of like a bar standing countertop. You can sit at it. There's also storage inside of it, but it moves. Oh, so you whoa. can turn this sideways, put it there if you want more room here. Yeah, this, this is like his art table in the studio. Oh, really? It moves move everywhere. <laughs> And over here, you're probably going, what? He was just asking, is that it's like a beer, beer making machine? machine? That's exactly what it is. Yeah. So he loves making his own beer. I love it. I want to try it. Where is he? <laughs> Let's get him here. Fire this baby yes. up, right? Yeah. And beautiful sleek fridge here. You guys are big into high tech. You want a smart home, right? Yeah. There's so many things that this can do. Weather, search the internet. You can use it as a drawing, give notes to each other. Well, I wanted to show you really quickly. It does have the TV mirrored to here. So while you're cooking, you don't miss the movie. Come on, you guys, I wanna show you something. And this is a cool little feature. You know, you're having a glass of wine or a beer, boom, boom. You've probably seen one of these before, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I've been thinking about this for the longest time. Right, right? Yeah. It's fantastic. It's it so makes convenient. This is the dry kitchen. Let's go see the wet kitchen. So this is the wet kitchen. And you notice we have the induction cooker out there. Yeah. But me, I like gas stoves. It's really rare, right, to have both, like, you know, induction as well as gas. Definitely. See that. You're so right about that. So we have Italian tiles, and the reason for the Italian tiles is not only just to look good, if you notice, it's got some friction, and that's for when you're spilling oil on the floor, you still have grip. Also, lots of storage, and it's hidden, which is a nice feature as well. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, 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 nice. Oh. Back here, we have a pretty nice size service yard mm -hmm. with a hidden ironing board. So that's, you know, saving space wow. again. Man. This yeah. place is good for um, treasure hunt. <laughs> Everything's all well heated up. It's so well heated up. And we haven't even seen the rest yeah, of it yet. Yeah. We still have more to go. Love this room. So this is what oh. you were seeing from the living room. I never knew that you can squeeze a gym equipment into this place. Yeah, gym slash office. And I was thinking for you guys, it could be kind of a cool art gallery. I know you'd have to repurpose a little bit, maybe wall this off. I really don't think he's going to use the gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> so I think maybe a space for him to paint will be another yeah. idea as well. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, I, like, I like the idea of uh, having a private space, but yeah, you can open it up at the same time. Okay, so these are the bedrooms that I was saying, the beautiful flooring. So all the rooms are connected, uh, and the reason they did that was they want to be able to share the same bathroom. Yeah, yeah. So I want to show you the master bedroom now. Come on, guys. Another surprise? Oh, okay. Yes, feast your eyes on this. Oh, nice. This feels like a hotel. Right, exactly. like a boutique hotel, right? <laughs> the feature they bring from out Which the one? living room back to here again. So this beautiful piece right here, which is separating your sleeping quarters from the wardrobe. So it's a wall without being a wall. And then you'll notice that this wall is a slight off color to the rest of the wall, right? This is because it is a specific color to allow for a projector. Oh, <laughs> it is, it's my dream. <laughs> so there's a what? setting in this room, movie night. So you just sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and watch a movie projected against this wall here. Speakers really built into this. the ceiling. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we thought it was a bookshelf, right? Yeah. yeah. This is a smart home, right? Well, there are 96 switches. <laughs> you definitely need labels for that. Actually, it's okay because there is a master that will turn them off or off. What's really cool is it's so smart that they have it set up for anything you're doing. Let's say you're having people over. You know, you, you talk to the smart speaker, tell friends. The blinds are gonna open, oh. and then all of a sudden your TV's gonna turn on, the certain type of lighting is gonna happen. Yeah. It's a setting. So the TV even gets a notification when your laundry's done. Wow. So it just oh. pops up or pops up on your app, whatever you need. Neat. So beautiful arched Pranicum doors opening to a wow. huge bathroom. Nice. <laughs> it's so big. You would not think that yeah. the bathroom is this big, would you? Yeah, the two things. We don't have to fight anymore. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's right. And you have a smart mirror over there as well. I'm feeling so. so smart already. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? The house is so nicely designed. Everything is so tacky that it's hidden. 
I, I didn't see any wire, so that's right. amazing. Perhaps we would like it to be better was the walkway. The right? walkway, uh, yeah. I find that certain area the walkway is a little bit narrow for us mm. because sometimes I'm, I'm quite clumsy, I can just bang <laughs> around things. So I think, yeah, a bigger walkway might be a better choice. Yeah. Other than that, I think it's really, um, really well designed and we love the house, it's beautiful. So here we are at the second place in Pongol. What do you think? Well, it's well worth the drive, right? Look at this. And this is what you have every day when you come home from work. If you guys like this, then you're really gonna love the view upstairs. So let me tell you about this place. Pongol, we've got a mall nearby, mm -hmm. and we have amenities. It's kind of self-contained, uh, so whatever you need is right here. Great. We don't right. even have to get out of That's Pongol, right. right? Exactly. No driving. That's the point. <laughs> right, let's go see the place. Okay. Oh, wow. Feast your eyes. Okay, guys, obviously the first thing we're gonna talk about here is that. Oh, nice. Incredible view. Where do you ever get that in an HDB? So this is 1,200 square feet and it's five rooms. And as you can see, it is incredibly spacious. Right when you walk in, it is a stunner. Lots of light is coming in from there. What do you guys think right when you walk in? I don't know, I, uh, this arch somehow is pretty special. It feels like the framing of the sunset. I'm doing art right. Yeah. So it'll be like a perfect picture of you with your easel there, <laughs> gazing out. <laughs> That's dream. What do you guys think about the whole beach house vibe, by the way? I think if we move here, uh -huh. Yes, we're gonna really change our lifestyle. I think we'll be out there like walking, cycling. So right when you walk in, a lot of space here. You can do what you want with it. I was curious, what do you think you would do here? There's some side light and then there's some free wall space. Mm -hmm. Just put your equipment, you know, your brush, your a tools. little nook right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To add to the beach house vibe, you have this light right here, which is set in this cove and feels like I'm on a boat, you know? This light could be swinging because we're <laughs> <laughs> Dining area slash kitchen. So this really gives you that nautical vibe. You've got the blue with the light wood countertop, white backsplash, awesome modular power strip here, which can help if you have a lot of things you wanna plug in, like you were talking about your rice cooker. Yep. You know, maybe that goes here, I don't know. As an artist, you have a lot of things to display. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think all this shelf is, is always good. It's got lots of toys as well. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah. So the first Collectors, thing I see is all the Legos toys and all, and all toys. that. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have not a walk in what pantry, is that? but the yeah. pantry comes out to uh -huh, you. Uh -huh. Take a look at this vertical pantry. <gasps> oh, nah. Snacks! <laughs> <laughs> all the drinks, all the snacks. Wow, this is neat. <laughs> Some of them just stack. So everything behind you can't see? Yeah. Exactly. You don't know what you have. Yeah, this is both sides. And then you go to the store and you buy the same thing that you already <laughs> have and you realize you have it later. And here it is. So Ooh. it's very simple because, you know, mainly we're given the space out there, right? Mm -hmm. Relatively small kitchen, big enough, I think, to get things done. And uh, you've got, again, the brass trim, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Both places, brass trim. Yeah. But different look on the cabinetry. So it kind of gives a country vibe or also, like, you know, talking about nautical, the nautical. Yeah, yeah the nautical yeah, yeah. face. All right, let's get a close-up view of this amazing <sighs> scenery right here. Look at it. Wow. Pongo Waterway. Where can you get this view? Malaysia, go say hi to our neighbors. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so close to the water. When you're looking at it from here, it feels like we're on a cruise ship. Yeah. You can't even see the edge. That's right, you can't see yeah. the, the ground. All you see is water, so yeah. it's almost like we're floating on water. It's kind of freaky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but cool. So I remember I was talking about this arch before. Yeah. Right. Well, there's another reason for this arch besides framing up the view here. This is a smart home. Smart home takes tons of wiring all inside there. Oh, so that's, that's what they've clever. done. So just a nice, really comfy, country-style yeah. living area here. And if you notice, the ceiling. Yeah. Nice, right? It's that beachy wood vibe. Yeah. But this actually isn't wood paneling. It looks like it, but it's just wallpaper. Oh. But it really, they did a really good right, job. Right, it's a wallpaper? Right. It's yeah. wallpaper, but oh. it looks like wood paneling. Amazing. So, Amazing. so this is a smart home. Right. So I know you are looking yes, for something yes, yes. that uh, you know makes life easier yes. on you, and a smart home does that. So we've got the switches over here, mm -hmm. and uh, they keep it really simple. The electrical is all controlled right here from this touch screen. Just swipe up and you've got everything you need right here. Sit down and eat some dinner, you just press dining and if you're going to sleep, boom, and it sets everything correctly. Nice. Yeah. Simple and nice. And here's one of the rooms. 
and square room, so usable space. This can be my study. Look at the view. There you go. I thought this is mine. Oh, <laughs> you're way too greedy. You have <laughs> art space out there, art space uh, in here. Bedroom. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And again, wow. an amazing view. Yeah. So that goes throughout the whole side of the house here. So you're getting that even in the master bedroom. So a lot of light. Yep. And country cottage style theme with the wood paneling walls again. And I really do love the wardrobe. Pretty decent sized wardrobe they built here. Yeah. And tinted glass with uh, some cove lighting in there does kind of give it a little bit of a cool design. So what do you think, enough wardrobe space for you? Mm, maybe just enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to move somewhere else. I have to <laughs> shift him out to the other room. That's <laughs> always the case. My wife has all of this and I've got the little spot it's over so here. unfair, right? <laughs> it's so unfair. <laughs> So for the bathroom, this is really cool to add to the smart home features. This is for the shower, mm -hmm. temp and time. So let's say you wake up at six o'clock every morning, you're taking a shower at 6.15, you can have this set so it doesn't waste the energy all night, yeah. but it just turns on and it sets the shower to whatever temperature you want. It's got a very resort kind of feel. It yeah. does. Very, yeah. Like the white wall tiles and the black floor. Yes, yeah, yeah, nice. with the trim on the door as well. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Personally, for me, like I think uh, we thought it was a little bit like far. But I think the view worth everything. For the house itself, um, I think what we liked was really the expensive big space as you go in and it opens up and we always like like a very open concept with lots of light. So that was like a big winner. Overall, I think the space is really nice but um, I think one aspect which we were hoping for in our new space was actually a slightly bigger kitchen. We've seen a Peranakan inspired smart home in Chai Chi and a rustic beach house next to the sea with futuristic technology. Now that Patrick and Lily have had some time to deliberate, let's hear from them. Out of the two, our favorite is actually um, the first one. Which is the Chai Chi house, which um, I think the, the detail of combining the traditional look and then yet is pretty techy. They have a lot of technology that put inside there. Uh, which made the whole house is pretty smart. I think for me, what I really liked was uh, something that I don't have in my current house, which is right at the window, where there was that couch, you know, and uh, wow, that's like, you know, you can just have a sip of tea, coffee, and just read your book. It's like my corner. Mm. Yeah, so that's like one of my favourite corners. And the second thing that I really quite liked was also um, the way they actually hit the uh, projector in the room and then we can just like really be lazy right? and lie down there and just watch movies before we go to bed. <laughs> because I think the second house, although the view is, is a million dollars view, we love it and, and, and that's the view that really we struggled to choose which one it is. I think the first house suits our taste, our liking. I think the, the most beautiful part is really they, they hide all the, the technology but yet showing showcase all the details of the culture, the arts. Yeah, that's something that, that, that suits who I am and uh, what I'm doing. Smart homes are increasingly becoming the norm in Singapore. And you know what? They're more environmentally friendly too. And as a matter of fact, back in 2019, over 90% of the new homes in Singapore incorporated some form of smart technology. So be smart and watch Chic and Cozy, where you can live large yet cozily.